Hi everyone, this is Stellar Firefly, and this is a very brief tutorial about how to make yourself an InfoStar admin. For this tutorial, we'll assume that you already have the InfoStar admin tools installed and running correctly. On GTX gaming servers, InfoStar is provided to you as part of your subscription and comes already installed and running. The key to making yourself an InfoStar admin is to find your Steam64 ID, also known as your 64-bit Steam ID. Note for those of you who had it running okay in the past, but not anymore, this is likely the reason why. When Arma 2 and thus DayZ moved away from GameSpy and switched over to Steam, all of the IDs were switched over to Steam64 IDs, and so the old IDs will no longer work. You need a player's Steam64 ID now. So, how do you find your own Steam64 ID? Well, the easiest way is to just log into any DayZ server that's already running InfoStar, and then hit Escape. Boom! There's your Steam64 ID, which, as far as DayZ is concerned, is also your player UID. And yes, you don't have to already be an InfoStar admin to see this, so just log into your own server. Or you can even log into someone else's server and see this, as long as they're also running InfoStar. Now that you have your ID, shut down your server and then edit your ahconfig.sqf file. Here on this GTX gaming server, just go to your TC admin control panel and click on the configuration files, find the ahconfigsqf file, and click on the configuration editor link across from it. To add just yourself, just copy and paste your Steam64 ID in between the double quotes for either the super admin, normal admin, or low admin text box. Of course you may also add others as various admins in the same way, as long as you know there are Steam64 IDs. But, be very careful here when you do. InfoStar is extremely nitpicky about the formatting. As the instructions on the page tell you, place the Steam64 IDs within double quotes and separate them with commas. But what may not be so obvious is how nitpicky InfoStar is. You cannot place spaces in between each value, not even next to the commas, like this. InfoStar actually gets confused and it won't work. You can't even put spaces at the end of the list like this, because once again, InfoStar can't handle it, and it won't work. So make sure to place the numbers in double quotes, separate multiple numbers with commas, and don't put any extra white spaces anywhere. If it doesn't work, then chances are really good that you accidentally put some extra spaces somewhere, so go back and check on it again. When you're done, don't forget to click on the Save button at the top, and make sure that it says the file was saved. Fire up the server again, and you're good to go. For those of you who are unable to use this method to find a Steam64 ID, maybe, for example, you're someplace at the moment where you're unable to run a DayZ game, or maybe you need to find someone else's Steam64 ID, then here's a couple of other alternate methods. First, the good old method of looking into your game database still works just fine, as long as the person you're trying to look up has played on your server at least once. Just search your player underscore data table for that player's name in the player name field, and the player UID field will have his Steam64 ID, because they're the same thing now. If you don't currently have access to your server database either, or the player you're trying to look up hasn't played on your server yet, then you can use one of the Steam ID lookup sites, such as steamid.co. Just type the user's Steam ID, or better yet, his Steam community URL or profile link, into the text field and press Submit. The Steam64 ID will be one of the fields shown. If you use this method, though, you may want to take a look at the associated profile just to make sure you have the right person. Well, that's about it, actually. It's really straightforward and not at all complicated. I hope this was helpful to some of you, and as always, good luck, have fun, and watch your back.